Legend of Total War here with part 11 of my Total War Warhammer I for an eye let's play campaign as uh, the Beastman. Just a bit of a disclaimer there seems to be like a little bit of a, like a party like down the street so you might hear it a little bit but it shouldn't it should be barely even noticeable I mean I can barely even hear it just it is there that's right anyway it shouldn't shouldn't distract from the video maybe what I'll do is I'll just increase the uh the sound just a little bit and oh, that might be a bit too much about there shouldn't be a problem and let me just adjust that a bit okay cool so now then what are we gonna do we've just um we've just destroyed gross fuhrer because there was a big army in there and I just felt that was our opportunity actually the main reason for us destroying that settlement was because of the enemy agents in there now although we've got no one raiding and we're not making any money we've just sacked two big settlements and made a fucking fortune out of that so we can afford to lose a little bit of money here and there okay so where are we in regard to this we would have lost a few units of of these turd burgers but that's okay. Let's get some more. Oh wait, you're at, you're at full strength. Still stay in encampment mode anyway. You're you're already in encampment mode. Okay, that's good. He's at full strength. I mean, I could merge them and just recruit some more, but I don't expect to be getting into a fight for a little while anyway. I sent someone down here to go kill you. We should be getting some Bray Herds, I reckon. Alright, well, we've got some leveling up to do, so let's focus on that. Alright, so... We need to get Arcane Conduit. It's very useful. So, yeah. Let's grab this. Uh, but then again, some of this other stuff around here is useful as well. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, what else? So, over here... Grab this. Grab that. This guy here took the most damage. But we didn't lose any, any hero units, so that's okay. Okay, you'll need to come over here a little bit. And, um, and camp. Still just keep getting more on gores. They do a good job of just sitting there and being crap and just holding the enemy in bay while my hero units do all the real work. Which I kind of, I enjoy watching them just wreck the enemy. Okay, we can upgrade that. If we do upgrade that, is that really what we need? We definitely want some more Bray Shamans. I guess we'll work towards that. Actually, grab this. That'll reduce our upkeep costs. Grab that as well. We, we do need cavalry. So this, that's Maligor's army. Okay, we've got money. We can afford that. You need to go into uh, that as well, but... You've got no movement. Alright, let's move on. You know, during these times of silence, you can probably hear the um, the the music. It's actually really annoying music. Whatever. Good. Get ourselves some new Bray Herds. Bestial Rage or Chaos Corruption? I'd prefer Bestial Rage. Okay, we've got one more turn until the full moon. I want you to raid your way through here. Okay, that doesn't even pay for the army, I think. No. But that's okay. I guess there's there's no reason to stay here and continue raiding that. We just, we've come up here because we, they seem to be raising armies from up here. And we want to put a stop to that because they're annoying us. And if that's where they're getting some of their agents from as well, then they need to die. Alright, one of their armies over here. They... How the fuck did they get around us like that? Not likely. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. Which... I can't tell which one went on which. Sorry. Now, you got a Bray Herd as well. I want you to come down here and fight it. 
I know I can only have one target on each one, but I can't remember which is which, and it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's... Okay, you're not at full strength, nor do you really need to be. We need to get over to Fastberg. We're going to raid this. We're going to try and make some money. This is not an area in where we're going to make a lot of cash. But we, sh we just need to get over here anyway. I think we'll just go and destroy it and then move on to somewhere else to go raid. You're going to um, encamp this turn. Alright, I'm going to merge these two. Now, there's four units that we need. We do not need four units of Ungor. Oh, that's right, because I disbanded the archers. Right. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab... Let's see, two units of Gore Herds with shields. And then two units of Ungors with spears. Just think about, what about disbanding that and just recruiting a new one? Because they don't cost much. But the thing is, the new moon is upon us. There's a lot of units that need replenishment. So I'll just leave it be. Okay, at least we're making a profit. But you know, we're not raiding the... Uh, that the real cash area of Marienburg. And if we manage to destroy the Cult of Ulrich, then we're really going to start making a lot of money. Alright, let's... As in through raiding. Alright, so... Well, that's the way to go anyway, because I don't even like these. They want increased recruitment cost, don't want reduced melee defense, that's crap. And I don't want to increase my upkeep by 33%. So we'll stagnate growth a little bit. And then, just like I said, how, how much was it again? 50%. So, that's heaps. This guy's got the, um... The artillery. Now, Fassberg is not something that requires artillery. This is very small, so probably order resolve worthy. Who should we get to do this? Well, we're getting, we're getting them all to do it. Get out of um, Raid Stance Malagor, you're going to do this. Now, some units here that aren't actually in good condition. Doesn't matter if they're still raiding. Because at least this way they'll, uh, they'll continue getting more experience. Oh... I haven't put the mod back on, because the thing is I've, um... I've gone to... What's it called? I've, I've played a head-to-head uh, -head with Lionheart, which we don't have that mod on, the auto-resolve thing. So I need to get out of the game and get back into it. Okay, you'll see what the difference is between the order of It probably isn't going to adjust the fire very much. So yeah, I'm just going to pause the recording and put the mod back on because I'm just looking at this thinking, this doesn't look right. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. So it didn't seem to make any difference for this battle, but that's of course because there's nothing here. But yeah, I went out of the game, got back, checked to see that if the mod was on. It wasn't on. It's now on. Made sure of that. Because yeah, that's, that's one of the problems with mods. They can, well, that's not really a problem, but they're save game compatible, so if I put them on, it, and then uh, halfway through you can take it off, it's, sometimes you can forget, it's not going to wreck the save file. Anyway. So, we're back on to, yeah, that mod, okay, so, yep, let me raise it. Back up to fifty thousand. It's not a lot of money, but we need to we need to be destroying the the cult of Ulrich. The thing is, though, it's a weird thing. Like the goal of the game is to destroy all the all the settlements, but if you destroy all the settlements, you can't maintain your 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 men anymore. It's like it's a symbiotic um, relationship. You need the humans to to live. 
because you can't make money out of this ruins, so it's kind of a bit, bit counterproductive what we're doing in the long term. You know, thinking, you know, ahead of the campaign. Okay, again, there's, there's nothing here. Auto resolve still functions, but I'm going to fight it manually because this mod, <clears throat> even if it's like bounce of power like this, I could find myself getting totally fucked over for a battle that that really I really shouldn't be losing any men at all. I know it's hard to tell if it's on at the moment, but it definitely is on. When we get to a battle where it's more more even, you'll really see the difference. It's just that obviously we've got a this is our best army here right, right at the moment. And whilst Gore Herd with shields by themselves are not really the best unit, with all the buffs that they're getting, look at their stats, they're fucking monsters right now. Alright, so they've got a few archer units and stuff. These guys have got Vanguard mode. I don't I don't use Vanguard that often. But I'll use it this time to see if we can pick off those archers. One of the reasons why I don't use Vanguard position that much is because you go out here and then they're like you know, they've got their archers or whatever. You, you can't just send half of your army to go and attack. you, you got to work as a unit. But in this case, we can because there's it's, it's not an army, it's a garrison. And a very small one at that. So yeah, when they get close, you use Devolve. Now, it's possible that over the course of the next few weeks, Devolve will be nerfed. <clears throat> this is this is one of the problems I had with my Vampire Counts campaign. Um, obviously, I did like 90% of that campaign in <coughs> excuse me in uh, in uh, early access, and huge um, huge changes were made to the game uh, very very soon after release. And so, when people are watching the episodes now, which I recorded, you know, two months ago, they're going, "How come this? How come that?" Even though you know. It's, it's obvious to me that they just simply didn't watch the earlier episodes, but yeah. But I'm, the point I'm trying to make is, just be mindful that this is still like the first day after it came out. If it, um, if the game has been patched since then, then, I don't know, don't worry about it, you know. Most, most of you guys do know that, but you know, I have to keep in mind, you know, I do have new subscribers who don't know how I function, and I need to be a l probably a little bit more accommodating to those fuckwits. <laughs> That's it. I'm unsubscribing because he called me a fuckwit. Uh, if you, if oh, what the hell, if you're turned off by that, you weren't going to enjoy your stay. What the fuck are they doing? Look, you don't need to run down shattered units because, well, it's a garrison. I probably shouldn't use it overcharged again. What's this? Oh yeah, that's. Don't need that. Centigors are really fucking fast. Like really fucking fast. It's like doing fucking cocaine. Okay, that's a broken unit. You can take that one down. Okay, it's right. You want to have some fun? Go for it. So they just route anyway. It's okay. So I think I lost like one man. Yeah, well one, one centigol. That's okay. He'll recover automatically. Because of uh, the new moon, I do really, do really like those turn of events. I guess it's interesting. It's it's strategic. Makes me wonder if that that um, I put a review on Steam. I gave it six point five out of ten. Maybe I was a little bit harsh on it. I mean, it's definitely not like 10 out of 10 material, but it's maybe 6.5 was a bit harsh. I don't know. 
That's the problem is, whenever I give a review, I or, you know, put a, put a number down to, to the quality of any given game or DLC, I have to always have double question whether or not that was actually accurate. Because the thing is, I'll play the game one day, have a horrible time of it, be like, 6.5 out of 10. Then I'll play it the next day and be like, eh, it was alright, I just had a bad day yesterday. Alright, so... For Kazrak 1 I Yeah, weapon strength. What else is there? So you're level 23 now. It's not much further for you to go. There you go, you can have slug skin. So you can see... 33% weapon strength for these guys. I think that's pretty high. Let me just check. Oh, I can't check. Well, I'm... Like this, that's okay. So level 7 for you. We don't need Breeze Scream. Good, next turn they get the, the Power Drain. Very useful. I could send this this uh, Bray Herd to go and just wipe out w Winsen. I might actually do that. I mean, I won't make any money from, from doing it myself. But it doesn't matter. Alright, I already did this this turn, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, you guys... Yeah, keep raiding. That way, I mean, you're not making any money, but you're getting experience, and that's important as well. Okay, so you finish that. Get slug skin. So this gorbal here. Yeah, grab that. Let me just... That brings it to level 4. Missile resistance. And over here... Yep, grab Unrelenting Savagery. Haven't seen any other... Um, neutral Beastman tribes for a while. Okay, so Malagor the Dark Omen. Yeah, he needs his he needs his unholy power. So goddamn useful for him. That's totally useless. We can't sack settlements. That's very nice. Okay, so we've got 60,000, so it doesn't matter if we're losing out on 1,000 a turn at the moment, because we just, we looted two settlements this turn. Now, I did say a little while back that one of these guys basically needs to leave the area. Just, just leave these guys. But what I'm waiting for, I suppose, they need to have, um... Need to give them some... Some, uh, what are they called? These things. The, um, Cygles. Every army needs some Cygors. And maybe I'll send him to Marienburg. Let me just see. Fort Solace. Maybe... Maybe Kazrak, once you finish destroying this, you can stay here. And make that money, and I'll send someone else. Send him over this way. Because he's... he's ready. I might actually do that... Now. So we'll give him give him some units. We can have the three cycles. I'll, I'll recruit some more for him later. Yeah. And then he needs to uh, get going. So he's going to leave this group here and go and just go over here and make money. For the time being. Now that means that these guys are going to be a little bit more vulnerable. Also, this guy needs to start making... Um, oh, hang on. I just realized he does not have that free building. Maybe that was a stupid idea. I should give it to someone else. Someone who does have it. Here, yeah, you can have this garbage. There we go, that's... Big difference there. 
And he'll recruit some more, recruit another three, and just stay out over here. Because I, I really like cycles. I know they're very expensive, but... I don't have a problem with expensive units if they're good. It's all about value. It's the, you got you to add value to your armies. Like just because something is expensive doesn't mean it's good. And just because something is cheap doesn't mean it's bad if it adds value. Do nothing, I never do those because it reduces your growth. Okay, good. Come around over here make a little bit of money to mitigate our loss. Oh, losses. It's alright. Okay, now, you're going to go to Marienburg. And you're going to make me a fortune. Well, you better. Okay, so come around over, here, not all the way, come to here. I don't think anyone's going to disturb you. Right, well, we need to build this. The only thing this this is missing is um, the Centigor building. It is getting reasonable growth. Well, if it wasn't for the events. And he needs to recruit three Centigor, uh, not Centigors, Cygors. I'm actually thinking about Possibly disbanding those because I don't. I'm not going to use him to assault Marienburg. He just needs to raid, and these guys, they're not going to be as good as you know. Even Ungor herds are better. Charge defense versus large. Alright, yeah, get rid of them, because they're no longer needed. And, uh, yeah, get, get the gore herd with shields. I'm sure that we'll make... Hang on. We're going to be stuck here for two turns anyway. I'm sure that we'll make enough money from here to mitigate the cost. It's going to get a lot higher than that. Especially once we get that additional 75%. Alright. So you'll need to recruit yourself a full stack of garbage. I'm just thinking, alright, let's just stay around here. Preferably in the forested areas, that way if they come close we can ambush them. There's no point, um... Oh, yeah, look, don't worry about raiding too much right now, just stay close. Over here. You need to come over here and encamp. And just produce the garbage. Oh, wait, those are the wrong ones. Hang on, you don't have the... The, uh, This thing. And you need that. But of course, getting this is, is going to affect his growth from now on. See, the thing is, this guy gets so much growth that... That, um, even while we've got this going on... It's still going in. It's still going up. Why is it events minus? Oh, right, we've got this going in here as well, so it's, it's not so bad. Hold off on it just for the time being. Two armies of what we've got here should be sufficient because of the improved abilities. Oh, then again, a lot of these guys are just garbage. We're not up against much, though. Where are our Brayhoods? Brayhood, you need to go and kill them. I just need to be mindful of, of our cost at the moment. And I, I need to build another one of these. Also, I can train another Gorbal. Wait, I thought I could. 
Oh right, next turn. Okay, Malagor, do you need to build anything? If you build that, that'll reduce our upkeep costs by a little bit. You've got plenty of growth, just do that, and that, why not? You can do it another turn, you just stay put for the time being. You'll need to get the other side of things so we get more Bray, bray Shamans. Because they're useful. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. There goes a Bray Herd, but that's okay, we don't need them. Critical failure, that's great. Okay, now this settlement here does not have any defenses either. This is where they were recruiting from, so let's put a stop to that then, shall we? Alright, good. Wasn't worth fighting manually. We absolutely smashed them last time, so it's like, well, let's see how much we'll do if we auto resolve it, even with the mod. I mean, we took a bit of damage, wouldn't have taken that much if we had manually resolved it, but that's, that's okay. He's level 6 now. Moving up in the world. He needs to get to like level 18 or something before he gets that, that really good ability. Slaughterer's Call. That's just fucking insane. Melee attack plus 15 for Ungor and Gore units for the entire hero's army. It's just nuts. Complete fucking nuts. I mean, I like it, but, but it'll probably get nerfed. See, I love to nerf everything that's good. Well... The thing is, I think the way it works is like, they put in some good stuff, and then one person complains about it. Like, oh, it's overpowered. And they're like, oh, we can't let anything be overpowered. And it's like, Slaughter's Call, plus one melee attack for Ungor and Gore units. Ah, fuck it. Now it's so underpowered, it's not worth getting. They make such extremes with their adjustments. Alright, um... We can still get the Best of the Beast 2. So, that, that just gives us an extra 5 leadership. I don't think we really need that desperately. I mean, we'll get evasion chance when losing the, using the beast path. You know what, you never know. We may need to use the beast path and... Yeah, it would be good if it wasn't fucking us around. Alright, you don't have a gorbal, you're going to get a gorbal. Everyone gets a gorbal. Enemy hero success chance, that's great. I guess that Gorbo will catch up. Okay, did you wipe out uh, wipe out this army here? Because we need to make our way out here. We've nearly destroyed the things that we need to. I don't know if they're going to do it or not. So... Isin Buttle, that's where we're going next. You know what, just move as far as you can. You need to get out of encamp mode. They're not strong enough to do anything to us, so who cares. He does need to build stuff. It's alright, he's... Uh, I just wanted to rack up as much population surplus as possible before we before we build this, because it really will hinder it a little bit. Alright, let's move on. Okay, so... You finished getting those those things. Our upkeep costs are getting getting higher. That's okay because we're about to 
into the raiding golden zone. Okay, what I want you to do is get to here, just encamp for the turn, because you can't make it here this turn anyway. And that way we'll just we'll just replenish the few casualties. It's, geez, it takes two turns. Even with that tech, that tech didn't seem to do much at all to, to help us with replenishment rates. Must have been pretty bad before then. Alright, so... Don't bother raiding this settlement. We just get over here and destroy them. This guy here will eventually catch up. Level 20 Bray Shaman, that's good. You need to get that uh, steam achievement, because I've actually got like 75% of steam achievements for this, because most of them are pretty easy to get. Um, one of them's for uh, having three level 30 heroes at any given time in a campaign. And to be honest, I don't even think I've ever gotten one level 30 hero, because I finished the campaign before that point anyway. So we're hemorrhaging money at the moment, but it's okay. You get there slightly faster using using that, but I'd rather you get there safely. So we'll come over here and raid the living shit out of it. Now, from here, it looks like they can't get any more cavalry. They just can get artillery and infantry. They don't have a um, a uh, what's it called? Uh, smithy, so they can't produce great swords. Good, moving on. Winston was destroyed. So, what does that mean? It means that, um... I don't know. We don't have to go over there then, that's all. We don't get any money from it, but it was kind of out of the way anyway. I just need to be mindful also of the quests. There's one over here, there, and down here. But they're all to do with Marienburg. Oh, not Marienburg. With um, Middenland. We will get them in this campaign. It's just not a huge priority. Alright, so you've got a Bray Herd, but your Bray Herd, I don't want you to interfere. Actually, you know what? Stick around. Alright, so get into Raid Stance. Come in here, and there we go. You're making just as much as what... Um, Kazrak was when he was here. And he'll, they'll just continue to make experience and make money. So if we have a look here, we're making about 900 um, profit off that. Doesn't make quite as much from Fort Solace because it, it's just not as rich of a settlement. But it still pays for, for his army. Yeah. If we wanted to, we could very easily take on Fort Solace because it doesn't have great defenses, but that's okay. Now we're... Now the thing is, these two here, we save them for basically the final chapter where we, where we want to close in and just crush everything off. So we just leave them here for the time being where they just continue to make experience and just generally be left alone. While these guys here continue to, to rough it out and gain more experience. Man, you, you were assaulted pretty... Pretty heavily here. Yeah, look at that. I need to kill this this faction off soon because it's getting out of hand. The thing is, if we destroy this settlement, Midden uh, Middenheim declares war on us. So, who wants to initiate the attack here? Hang on, the Gorbul needs to come in. Attach yourself to him. Okay, then I want you to attack. Okay, so you can see here that even though we've got a larger army, the order resolve is definitely not in our favor. Because we would kick their ass in a battle with this. So that guy's missing a... Well, that's Malagor. He doesn't need a Bray Shaman. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good, easy battle. 161 casualties, a little bit more than I was expecting. But nothing we can't handle. Very small amount of loot. It's it's, it's enough, it's roughly what I was expecting. Pox carrier. It's useful. Mm, that's alright. <coughs> Okay, you leveled up. Uh, we could probably utilize. Now we don't. I haven't needed lightning strike at all in this campaign. I think. All right, so all three of them have got gore balls. We've only got one Bray Shaman here, and he's he's of the beasts. We need it of the wild. So we're going to need to get another Bray Shaman. Let's have a look here. You did not build the required thing. You didn't either. Oh, that's right. We need to work towards that. We'll be able to get it next turn. Right. I'll get you to encamp. Yeah, get the... Get the ritual mound. And you know I get that as well. Oh fuck, that's really expensive. But still, you know, it makes my unit stronger. I'm all for that. Just stay together. Anyway, we're making money, so... No big deal to spend it. The only thing I hope is that those agents are not trying to assassinate my guy. Critical failure, assault unit success, assault unit critical failure. Yeah, that's, that's kind of why we need the new moon all, all the time to uh, give us our casualties back. I mean, you can always just recruit any of these units in one turn. And Marienburg is now too weak to do anything about it. Okay, we can get through here further, faster with the Beastman path. But then I won't be able to encamp. We need to encamp so that you can purchase this. Same with you. Expensive buildings, but that doesn't matter. Just get it anyway. Okay, we finished the technology. Um, both of these just aren't really needed. What about this for 20,000? We don't need it, but we've got the money. I don't even know if I really should do that. That's a bit silly. We're making profit, so it's okay. Well, only just. How are you going with your profit? 1400? You're not making as much because of your Bray Herd. Alright, let me just see if I can use my Gorble here. Oh, is it possible I could use you to assassinate? Let me see. No, very low chance of success. What about the Gorble? You'd think the Gorble would be good at assassinating, but it's, it's not. Not really. Okay, well good, let's move on to the next turn. Jeez, that's a lot of magic. Alright, so... That's cost 25,000. We don't ever really need it, but it doesn't matter. Grab that. Now then. We can come down here and probably start raiding. Well, not this turn. Okay, neutral tribe encountered. The Redhorn tribe. Where are they? Razor sack three different settlements to make them like us. They wouldn't dare declare war on us. We'd wipe them out really easily. So, 
Go to the Redhorn tribe, see if they'll confederate. Mm. Okay, now in this settlement, they, they do have walls. They'll still confederate with us even if we do fail the mission. But maybe it is it's time to, to get that done. Okay, I want you to come over here and no, I don't want you to bother in camping. It's fine. Damn you. Prick, if you would. But he doesn't have cavalry yet. That's the that's the thing he's missing. If he just what does he have to wait for? Twelve growth. Yeah, twelve growth. A little bit more than actually, because you got upgraded as well. And then after that, he doesn't need to build anything else because the other three. Building slots, I don't care about. So it looks like this guy's just been sitting there the entire time doing nothing. And just stay in stasis or something. And it looks like the cult of Ulrich has also been doing nothing. So, where was the success? Okay, it was fairly minor. The thing is, every time they succeed, they probably gain a level up and they just keep getting better. This would break my vows. I'm gonna break your fucking face, brick. Are you raiding? No, you're in encamped. Okay, what do I want to do with you? I don't know, attack that. I'm not going to attack it. Alright, so... How are we going to go about this? So, Grak Tar... Malagor's got the, uh, the decreased upkeep costs. I could give him the, uh, the Cygors, if we want to do that this turn. Because I would like to make that tribe like me. But we as soon as that's done, we'd have to go to war with uh, Middenheim pretty much right after. Middenheim is actually considered a lot stronger than us. It's largely just, I think, due to all their regions. How much more money would we make from raiding it? It's a little bit. Let's raid it for this turn. I want to head over in this direction. But then again, he's going to be... It's going to keep getting harder. Uh, let, him, let him build up their garrison. What does it matter? Alright, then you... I want you to actually encamp over here because I want you to recruit a few units. Okay. First thing we need... Um, Bray Shaman of... Oh god, is it the wild or... I always get confused. If I come over here to him, he's got it of the wild. Okay, that's what we need to get. I'm not saying the beast is bad, but wild is better. We can get two of these. Disfiguring Scar and Maimed Arm. Well, he doesn't need melee attack. So yeah, so that one, and we'll get the other one as well. And then you also need to recruit just more garbage. Cannon fodder. Because the ghoul bull bulls, they sort us out in these battles anyway. I don't have many professional units at all. You need to start building centigors soon. 
Alright, so... How long has this video been going for? Uh, let me just pause the recording. I haven't quite set up my second monitor. I'll be right back. Okay, cool. So we're about 42 minutes into the um, episode, roughly. Okay, so with you... I'm going to give you this first. Okay, so that's going to increase our upkeep cost. I think next turn we'll make the attack on that. And then we'll head up this way. Because isn't there a mission nearby? There's this one here. That's a region capital. Where's where's this? Nordingen. Nordingen. Whatever. Okay, making a lot of money. That's great. Let's see if we get a level up for Kazrak. He's nearly maxed out. Okay, we finished up Slug Skin. Now you get Fury of the Herd. Just uh, out of curiosity, the Mage Hunter. Reload reduction time and extra ammunition. I'm just wondering if I should get that because I do rely fairly heavily on Cygors. Oh, you haven't leveled up enough for, to get that yet. Alright, let's do this. Because if we impress them, we'll, we'll probably be able to, um... Oh, shit. We don't want them to actually... get killed. That'll be fairly useful against... against that. However, this will be good for afterwards. Oh, it's only 10%. Beast the inclination plus ten percent, uh, plus ten melee attack. But then we won't have the campaign movement range. Fuck the growth. It's not even. They must have two two things. So they really like us. They'll join the confederation. So this will cancel the, the mission anyway. Let's see if they'll give us some cash. Oh, here we go. How much? Now, for a very short time, we'll have reduced upkeep costs. So that's aborted. Makes no difference now. Okay, so looking at this army, it's pretty standard. What, what have they got in here? Okay, no, I don't want this. How much... 48 surplus. Holy shit. They must have been sitting in status for fucking ages. That is just nuts. Um, destroy this because I don't want it. Build these two. We'll build in, in there next... Oh shit, we're low on... Alright, because it's... Oh, we don't have the funds for the stuff that we need. That's okay. What about this one here? This one was only just established. Okay, uh, what are we going to do with you? Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Hmm. Just thinking, if we destroy this, we go to war with Midden, uh, Middenheim. It might not be a good idea straight away to do that. However, this guy here needs to die. So... Grab this guy here, because Malagor is very high level. But then again, you've already taken a lot of damage. Yeah, Malagor, you hit that. Good. Take the fervor. Let's wait until we reorganize this. Now, we've got reduced upkeep 20% for all units at the moment. Which means some of our units are going to be extremely cheap. But after that time is up, we're going to be in the shit for the finances. We need to sort this out within, within five turns. That was your, that's the 
I mean, if we took this and we get a bonus, we just need to get these guys together. Because if I if I go and beat this, then Middenland goes over here and destroys them. What was the point now? I've just gained two new armies. So you've gained that. Grab this next. So they're going to need need these guys attached to them. We attach to this one first. Where's the other one? Because I got two. You attach to this one. And then... Oh, I can't move. That's okay. If I put you in raid mode... Yeah, we make a little bit of cash from that. How much growth do you need? Eight. Okay, yeah, just stay in raid mode for the time being. Because he's out of movement, isn't he? Yeah, just about. Okay, moving on. Savage Dominion, that's what I want. Don't even care about those bray herds, it's fine. Okay then, now, how are you holding up? I guess it's good that you've been getting the, a small amount of replenishment if they're trying to assault. It's not doing that much. He may try to recruit. But given the, uh, the quality of this army here, I don't think that they would win. We would just, even on Legendary, we would wreck them really hard. Because look at that, we've got 103 wins of magic, plus the Gore Ball, which is just insane. And all, not to mention all the, all the extra leadership they get because of the Gore Ball. Extra 20. Apparently. Okay, so... You need to come down here and help us raid. Also, we're done with Ungor Ung Raiders. So, get rid of them. Because they're not exactly cheap. We'll be able... Because this, this army here has so much growth, we'll be able to build... It's uh, growth building up first, I think. Because we'll just need to get the money together. It'll take this guy quite some time to to uh, to get the growth in order. But I'm not I'm not gonna fucking disband it. Can I even do that? Let me just see. Uh, I don't know. So he's recruiting, but he's outside the city. One of you guys have got lightning strike, don't you? Surely you do. Let me just have a look. I might have actually gotten a guy. Gotten no lightning strike. Shit. Because I don't need to, to smash up the garrison. What's he going to do? He's going to sit in the garrison and then we'll... Actually, you know what? I'll send the Bray Herd to go kill him. They'll fail, but, but at least they'll annoy the fuck out of him. At least I hope so. Okay, so we've got full magic detection through him. I guess just extra resistance type stuff would, would come in handy now. Oh, hang on one second. Reduced cooldown to all spells and of the hero and accompanying lords. Imagine um, the the other thing reduced uh, cooldown by thirty percent. Yeah, definitely grab that. Okay. Let's 
Yeah, what else are we doing? Good, good, good. Let's move on. The enemy failed to spot my ambush. Okay, these guys are making the attack. Yeah, just order to resolve it. Has wounded someone. He wounded my guy over here. He'll only stay wounded for a short period of time, but that is a bit of a concern because he, this one here is nowhere near as good. We're not getting any growth now. And we've taken quite a bit of damage. I, I'm still confident that they would be able to beat the shit out of them if they came out here and fought us. Especially because my, my guys keep getting better. Mm, a little bit concerning though. It was good to see that they've put some agents in here. So if I get a chance to come out here and fight them. Well, if they come out here and fight me, that would be good. But I don't want to go and destroy Marienburg because I'm using it to make money. It's always it's always difficult. you got to deal with these, these situations when... Dealing with trying to make money from an enemy, essentially. Okay, we're not making as much money. Probably because these guys here are raiding. We should put a stop to that. What I want to do is send you all the way down here to attack that. They're not going to be able to su succeed. But I just want them to, to go and die. To stop taking my money, essentially. Yeah, after that situation, I think I will actually grab... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is Malagor. Malagor. No, he's got other things to do. Like, we haven't got slug skin yet. Because I don't really need these things. Alright, something wicked comes this way. That's very useful. Alright, I want you to get in close over here and then in camp because you have got a lot of shit that you need to build right away. Okay, we have to build this first. And build that up. We've got to reduce the upkeep cost of these units if we want to keep them up. I mean, we could just have him hang on as a as a piece of crap unit. I'm going to disband the gore herd because they're a bit too expensive for me at the moment. I just realized something. We've got Delbers down here. We could raid that one as well. Maybe not a good idea considering that guy's right there. I mean, we've got this one up here as well. Just stick together. We're making money. Let's just be happy with that. He's got money enough to build something else. That'll reduce upkeep costs. A near unlimited supply of bloody um, growth. It's awesome. Gotta build them up almost straight away. Oh, they've come at me. Oh no, this is fine. Look, the looking at this, I'm actually surprised they'd make this attack. What's the range on that? 300. Okay, I don't think these guys are going to be particularly accurate at uh, smashing that. But yeah, no problem. We don't, we don't fight it. Don't order resolve this, obviously. Oh, we'll go a little bit over time. Shit. That's yeah, alright. Emil von Corden. I hope afterwards we get an opportunity to kill those two uh, agents. That's, that's my main concern in beating these guys, because Emil von Corden, we can't kill him. Um, we can only wound him, but if we can kill those two agents, then that's great, because they can't hire too many more of them, because we destroyed, like, their battle college. So, no more of those battle wizards for them. 
Because this is their only region remaining. How should we go about this? Well, we've got we've got our as how come we've got so much magic in reserve? Oh, whatever. And we've got this guy here providing how much armor? Fifteen and missile resistance. Extremely strong units. He really does need to be like right next to them in order to get for us to get that bonus. So even he, just him getting that bonus is still good. The Luminarch of Hitch will be really good against our, um, um, Cygors. Just need to be mindful of that. Might be an idea to actually just rush at them. Okay, you get over here. Because you can run faster than any of their, their units. I don't think they've got any cavalry. Good. That's one of their guns down. But I'm a little bit concerned about the Luminarch of Hitch. Hang on, what the fuck? I can just get another Cygor. What did I think of that? I mean, think of that earlier. Quick, get out of the way. Ooh. It's like, that was a lot of your health. You get the fuck out of here, you're done for now. Okay, after seeing that, I've decided, fuck this, let's go kill them. So, Luminarch of Hish. Um, these guys are going in as well, but just be patient. I'm glad they decided to hit him. Because he's our disposable one. Send him into melee. Okay, I want you guys shoot that Luminarch of Hish. Get in there, kill the general, kill kill that wanker. I don't think they can get another one of these, I'm not too sure, because don't they... I don't know, I'll have to double check that. Ooh, that's doing a lot of damage to me. over here. Stop them from shooting. Okay, the guy is just about dead. We've got this. I'm surprised they'd make this attack. Like, they, they didn't stand a chance. I'm just trying to obviously minimize the damage I take. Someone needs to run over. Actually, you get over here. I want you to try and um. Oh shit! No, no, no. We... Where's where's my uh, gorble? Get over there quickly. You gotta run down these losers. Okay, you guys focus on them. The gorble is good at doing that. Okay, all you guys now stop shooting. Oh yeah, someone's got to kill this. Oh, it's a bit too fast. How fast are you? Sixty-four. You won't catch it in time. There's a good chance we'll be able to reach them next turn. So who's this here? This is their Celestial Wizard. Okay, 
So yeah, let's just focus on killing him for the time being. If we can't... Come on, focus... Yeah, actually kill, yeah, see if you can kill him. Yeah, sh you'll surely kill this guy. Oh, here you go. Oh, you don't even need it. You're at full health. Might as well. I hope that's actually doing a lot of damage because I can't actually see how much health he's got. Come on, use that big old axe. Killing him. Do it. Yes, big out. Axe. Attack. And again. Kill the motherfucker. How are we going over here? Did you get him? The guy seems to be moving out really quickly. I mean, you guys should be able to catch up to him. Need centigores. Well, his melee attack's huge. Oh, he's actually got a magic attack. Slaughterer's call keeps getting turned on and off. How long does it take to kill this piece of shit? Surely he's doing damage to it. Come on, just, just one enemy agent. Just let it die. Why is it taking so long? Fuck it. I'll just I'll kill it on the uh, the next battle. They wouldn't be. I don't think they'd be able to retreat. He still had a lot of health left. So you really failed me on that. But overall, the battle went very well. We did. We actually lost less men than them, but they brought a lot of specialist units. Yeah, that Luminarca fish. That was that was very dangerous. It's a very expensive unit, though. I will take the money. That's. Really good cash for such a small battle. God damn, all this kind of stuff going on. Okay, a bit of a long episode, we're about to end it here. We just want to finish this off. Oh, you have got to be fucking kidding me. Can't do it. I should have. Well, the thing is, we, we definitely killed this guy in the in the battle, but I don't know, he just didn't die. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this one. So like and subscribe. Part uh, twelve is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.